Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I know I was I was sick like last week or whatever, or two weeks ago I guess, but I had lost my voice, so it's come back. Plus, I started a new job, and so I've just been working a lot, and I don't know, I just haven't been able to make a video, but I'm making one now, and I decided to do a Game of Thrones name since I've been watching that a lot, so a lot of these names were invented by the author, George R. R. Martin, but they, I mean, a lot of them obviously derive from names that are used, but honestly, I like some of them a lot better than the names they come from. Maybe that's because I've never heard them before, before the show or the books. So, I don't know. Let's just go through them. I start with one of the more popular ones, which is Arya, spelled with a Y. I prefer with an I, like in Pretty Little Liars, but spelled with a Y, it's a Sanskrit mean, uh, name meaning noble, and it was number 216 with this spelling. Um, okay, let's move on to, uh, Bran. Bran is the youngest, no, Bran is the second youngest Stark child, and it's obviously a diminutive Brandon, but I kind of like Bran better, I mean, I like both names, I've always liked the name Brandon, but Bran just seems more fresh, and, I guess childish, but, like, your baby is gonna be a child, so... <laughs> But then it's going to be older. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it means broom-covered hill. Okay. Um, the next name is, um, the character Brienne. Brienne of Tarth. She is a very strong character. And her name is a Celtic name, meaning strong. So that fits. And, um, it's the feminine form, form of Brian. Which is, has always been a name I liked a lot. Um... The next name I chose is Lady Catelyn Stark. I like Catelyn way better than Caitlyn. I actually had a friend named Catelyn, but it was spelled uh, with a K-A-T-L-I-N. But um, I like this spelling too, even though a lot of people will probably pronounce it Caitlyn. And Caitlyn means pure, so let's, I guess we're just going to think Catelyn means pure, because it wasn't there was no meaning for it. Um, the next name I have is my favorite character, Daenerys. And this name is obviously nowhere else to be found other than this, um, this series. Except a, in a I guess, an old American Idol alumni, um, named Gina Glocklin named her baby Daenerys, which is really cool, and obviously it came from the series, because there was nowhere else before that. But I like that, um, I like that name, I think it sounds... But I, d I think it sounds stronger, like a more stronger feminine name. I like really feminine names for girls. Which brings me on to Khaleesi, which I think it's, it sounds really pretty, even though I don't think I could ever use it on a human just because I would associate it so strongly. But obviously, a lot of people don't agree with that feeling because Khaleesi, as of 2014, is number 755 um, on the chart, which I was actually happy to see just because I love the name, I mean the character. And, um, so that's cool. And, uh, I think I want to use it on a horse. Anyway, um, <laughs> the next name is a character that you probably pretend to hate, but you really love because she's awesome, even though she's kind of a terrible person, um, sometimes. And that is Queen Cersei. Cersei was nowhere I could find. I couldn't find the name Cersei, but, um... Some people think it's based on the Greek sorceress name, Circe, spelled C-I-R-C-E. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Circe or Circe or something like that. I'm not sure. But I think I think this name sounds pretty. I think a lot of these names I just like just because I've never heard them before, really. And I like fresh-sounding things. So even if even though they they sound like... Like, they sound they, like they fit in that world, but I still like them. I guess I just like names like that anyway. Um, the next name I have was, um, Renly. Renly is one of my, was one of my favorite characters, but he didn't live very long. And, um, so this name wasn't, like, there's no actual meaning for the name, but the name Ren by itself means water lily or lotus, and there's also the Ren with a W, which is a bird. So that's, so I guess either way it's kind of like a nature name, which is cool. And then we go to his wife, which was named Marjorie. I couldn't find it with this spelling, though I do like this spelling. But there's a Marjorie without the A, uh, the se without the second A, and that 
meant Pearl because it was the diminutive of Margaret. She is also one of my favorite characters, even though she's really manipulative, but I just, I just, I just like watching her, so... Um, and let's move on to her brother. Her brother's name is Loris, and this actually was not an unheard of name, I'm surprised. Um, it actually was <laughs> number 1,829 in 1919, and it was also given to five boys in 1964, which went, made it, um, a number 1,700. So, it kind of sounds like Lotus, which is a flower, so I, if it doesn't have a meaning, then, um, Let's just say it means flower. <laughs> uh, the next name is Sansa. Sansa um, is the oldest daughter of the Stark family, and she's been kind of everywhere in the series, and that currently she's back home, which is cool, except she has black hair, and she's meant to marry one of the, what I would think is one of the cruelest characters, and kind of insane who I don't like, and his name is not on this list, Ramsey. I don't like that name, honestly. Sorry. Um, but Sansa is a Sanskrit name, uh, meaning praise and charm. And I think it kind of sounds similar to Sasha, and I like the name Sasha, but I think Sansa sounds more fresh. I keep saying fresh, I'm sorry. Um, this is in a produce section. <laughs> uh, let's move on to the name of the character you all hate the most, Spoiler alert, <laughs> the deceased king, Joffrey. Joffrey, let me just pull up what someone wrote on Nameberry because it was kind of hilarious and I'm gonna read it to you. On Nameberry, someone said this. As under the pop culture reference section, it said, Joffrey Lannister, a character from the Game of Thrones series, a sadistic, psychopathic tyrant that should have died 1,000 horrible deaths. Please don't name your kid after this twin cest bastard. He is known to have tortured several innocent women, including his former betrothed, Sansa Stark. Doesn't sound very official, but it's kind of true, or very true. But, um, actually, I heard, I don't remember what I was watching. But I heard someone say that they were like, that, that it was like a long time ago, and there was like, a, I think it was in California, there was like Joffrey's Diner or something. So, it's, I guess the name wasn't unheard of. Um, anyway, um, it according to the sites, it says it's a form of Jeffrey, which means uh, Pledge of Peace. So, if that's what it means, his name is not fitting at all, obviously. Um, sorry. This crown is kind of hitting me in the back of the head. Um, let's move on to the other guy with the sight, other than Bran, and that would be Jojen. Jojen made me sad because they eliminated him before they did in the books, which they haven't yet. And um. And that's probably because he's a main, the actor is um, a main character in the Maze Runner series, which they are filming. And it's movies versus TV. I guess a lot of actors prefer movies, even though I would rather be in a TV series because it's long-lasting. But, um, anyway, he wasn't anywhere to be found, this name, but I think it would be a good alternative to way overused names like John and Joseph, which I don't like either of those names, and I really like the sound of Jojen kind of sounds like it should be the name of a tree so let's just pretend because these names don't have real meanings because George R. R. Martin made them up so let's create our own meanings <laughs> um let's move on to the final Stark child which is Rickon Rickon obviously came somewhere from Rick Richard Rickard but I think Rickon sounds way cooler than all of those names and I guess because the other names kind of sound dated to me and I just think Rickon sounds cool and uh it's adorable for the character um for kids it just it's, I can just imagine it on a little kid um whatever uh, the next name the next name is the uh the former i guess assistant leader of the unsullied which is, who is now um daenerys's uh, uh she's not really an assistant i don't know what she is to her i mean i guess it's just like her best friend um and that's Missandei. Missandei was not found anywhere but i just like the name i think it sounds pretty and 
I mean, I could never use it, but I like it. And she's a nice character. She doesn't do too much, but she's not bad. So props to that for not killing anyone. Um, the next name, um, which is the, <laughs> the Bastard of the Starks. I'm not going to say John because it's a boring name. And I hate someone with that name. And But I'm going to go with Snow. Snow is the name, uh, the uh, n the surname for the bastards born in the north, um, I believe. That's, yeah, that's right. Um, and the it's a word name meaning frozen rain. It's not on the lists, which I was kind of surprised. I mean, I guess if, I feel like it would be on the lists if there was a list for middle names, which I, I'm sure there is somewhere, but not official. I don't know. Um, anyway. Let's move on to the current, spoiler, the current king, who I think is the best king, because he's the nicest king, and he's just really innocent and adorable, and Marjorie is very manipulative up over him, but she's not mean to him, so it's fine. Anyway, that's Tommen. I think Tommen sounds way better than Thomas. I don't like the name Thomas, I just think of English muffins. I don't know. I just don't like the name Thomas. It sounds really dated to me, but Tommen sounds... It just sounds peaceful. And, um... Anyway, Thomas means twin, so I think Tommen could mean twin, which is... Kind of, a. Uh, I always... I mean, they're not, but I think Tommen and Marcella basically look like twins, because they're, like, a year apart, and... So they're kind of, like, Irish twins. Um... Anyway, Thomas was number 54, so I think that would be a cool alternative to Thomas, would be Tommen. Um, and then let's move on to his sister, who is currently shipped away to the, uh, wherever the Sand Snakes are. I can't remember the name of that county or whatever. Um, and that's Marcella. Marcella, spelt with an A, is listed, meaning warlike, and it's Latin, but I like Marcella spelt with a Y. Um, she's not really that... Um, prevalent in the story right now, but I think she will be soon because they're trying to go get her. Um, anyway, let's move on to the imp, Tyrion. And that's what people are saying it could mean imp because it is not an actual name, it's invented by the author. And he is obviously a big fan favorite character. And the only connection people are finding is saying that it's similar to Tyrone, which I can't stand the name Tyrone. I just don't like it. It sounds violent. I don't know. I just don't like it. But Tyrion's cool. Or Tyrion. I'm sorry. I always say Tyrion. His name is Tyrion. Um, that's cool. I, I guess just because who doesn't like the character Tyrion? So I guess you can't hate the name. Um, let's move on to the, to the traitor slash I feel terrible for him because of things that happen and what is, how he still is. Um, and that's Theon. I think Theon is a really... I just like the name Theon, and I think it's good for, like, a lot of people are naming their daughters Thora, Thora which I think Theon and Thora, like, they go together well, or they not go together, because you, I wouldn't do that to two people at once. Like, I wouldn't name the twins Theon and Thora, but I think if you're trying to decide, like, you don't know what you're going to have, but you like the th sound, I think Thora and Theon, like, I don't alternative i don't know you know what i mean um i think i, I like the name theon and um it's greek name meaning godly so it was actually a, a real name and I, I just think it's cute um and theon is currently under the spell or whatever i guess you would call it the hyp hypnosis or whatever uh ramsey did to him he thinks his name or he thinks he is a person named reek reek is not a listed name anywhere but um, when you think reek, I mean, you probably think, like, it reeks, it smells, or whatever, so. It also kind of sounds like leek, which is a stick, or a spell, I guess, but it's spelled R-E-E-K. So, um, yeah. The next name I have is Ilaria. I think Ilaria sounds really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Everly. I don't know, um, Ilaria just, I, um, I think if people noticed if she was a more if she was a bigger character i think people would notice the name and um cuz she she's the paramour of prince oberyn who uh spoiler alert again is no longer with us unfortunately but i i just think it's really pretty and it has arya in there which is really popular 
Um, the next name I have is the very creepy shadow demon birth giving creep. Um, <laughs> Melisandre, which I the only thing I found about Melisandre is that it is a form of a I think French name Melisande with an accent mark over the e, and um, it's that's a French form of Millicent. Um, which I actually, I really like the name Millicent. I don't, I know I've heard that name, like, in a, a story or a book or, I mean, a story or a movie or something, but I don't know where I ever heard the name, but I did like the name a lot as a child, but I heard it somewhere, I'm not sure. But, um, there you go. And the last name I have is the surname Stark, which I, I think it's, it's, it's simple and short to the point. I think it sounds really strong. Um... 21 boys were named Stark in 2013, so obviously it's not terrible, and, um, it's actually, it was a real surname, it was an ancient surname derived from Old English, meaning, derived from the Old English word Stark, spelled S-T-E-A-R-C, and it means, oh, and it means firm and unyielding, and, um, modern usage means plain, which, I mean, I guess the name kind of sounds plain, so it's fitting. Um, that's all I have, but, um, sorry for all the spoilers that I gave, um, but I've just been watching a lot of Game of Thrones lately, so, there you go, I, uh, hope you enjoyed that, a list of all these names, and I will place my crown over to you. Yes, this is a real crown. Not really, but, I mean, it's, it was a good $35. It's, like, fake gold and fake diamonds. It's a real crown, it's not plastic. Bye.